Hi, I'm Elizabeth Olsen, and this is my Glamour Unfocus. I think the standout moments from filming WandaVision were towards the beginning when we were doing all the interiors of the sitcom, and specifically there's the third episode when I'm dressed in the 70s and I'm pregnant. My water's supposed to break and then water inside the house was supposed to pour down on us and we were told it was going to be hot water and we could only do it one take and it was freezing cold. <laughs> Somehow it just cooled off at that time. I don't know what happened but um, they felt so awful but it was so funny. The Modern Family one was so fun for me because we were so tired at that point of shooting. I think it had been like our we had finished three months of shooting and we were just exhausted and it was before our Christmas break and I think I was delusional. I started taking a lot of um, like medicinal mushrooms, not like drugs, um, like um, chaga and cordyceps and ashwanga for my energy and for my immune system because <laughs> we were so run down and I, it was like I was on, I don't know, I've never tried Adderall but it was, I think it feels like that. Like I just was on a different planet. Oh yeah, I had major panic attacks for a long time in my life. It was um, totally debilitating. And I was um, living in New York on my own and I was 22. I was the type of person though that like didn't understand anxiety because it's just like write a list and check it off. Like I didn't realize it was something that was um, something you could not control and the issue was the control part. And then I just, I just learned a bunch of brain tricks from friends who actually went to, um, a neuropsychiatrist and and instead of medicating I decided to do it that way. What I learned with panic attacks is you have to put your attention off of whatever's making you spin onto something else which is literally my acting school training mm -hmm. <laughs> where you are supposed to be focused on the person you're with and not yourself. And the moment you start talking about it you learn how many people go through this and especially um, at in their 20s and 30s. It's like a really specific time that um, I've heard stories of lots of women um, having these panic attacks and everyone just like deals with it quietly and I think now people aren't. <laughs> the more representations we have of different types of women, the better. I I'm, not, I'm not a very angry person. Um, I've always really held my ground um, um, just for some reason. I don't know why. I think I was just like, I don't know how I was raised, but I always felt like I could say no in like any work situation um, if someone was making me feel uncomfortable. And I just feel like that's what we need, whatever, I don't know what it is, but just the power of understanding that we can we don't have to like follow suit if it doesn't feel right. I like being easy to work with. Um, I like I like feeling like a game player and a team member when it comes to being on set. But I know when someone makes me feel uncomfortable and I won't allow that to continue. And I was like that as a child though. I was like that in school, but the word no specifically was something that I remember my sisters isolating and um, and it becoming really empowering. And I think for women, it's a really empowering word. And I think, you know, it's like, just say no to drugs, but like mm -hmm. truly, like you can just say no whenever the hell you want. Like it's really a powerful thing and it's empowering to do it. There was a producer that I just um, didn't feel comfortable around on set when I had certain scenes to do. And so I um, asked the director to not have him there and um, they listened. Everyone has such crazy stories to tell. And I do, and I think it's every, obviously it's every industry. It's largely in politics also, as mm -hmm. we're seeing. I think at the end of the day, we just all have to be like normal people and be kind. Like just be normal is one of my favorite things to say. Like when people start getting bizarre, like just be normal. Like don't be demanding, just be normal. Like be respectful, have the conversation and be normal. My first film that I did, I was nude and um, it's Martha Marcy May Marlene and I was also um, uh, assaulted on camera. My agent, when we were making that contract, she said, if the director can't literally say what he wants to see on camera, 
then then he's not comfortable filming you like that and therefore they don't deserve to have that part of you on camera. It's a weird job, this job, but you have to write these um, these agreements about nudity and it's easier when you're the lead and it's not easy when you're like the extra in Game of Thrones. And I think that is where there's real change being made. And then there's the power dynamic um, of of, of male dominance on set. You truly have to take the moment and say, um, I want a, a sound editor who is a woman. How many are there? And sometimes right now they're all gone. And so then you go, okay, well, who's the best person for the job um, that, that maybe hasn't had an opportunity yet that is um, potentially a person of color? Like you just have to just think outside the box as a producer. And I think it's really easy. And then it creates a really healthy work atmosphere. Um, there is some sort of association um, of not earning something that I think bothered me at a very young age and had nothing to do with not being proud of what my sisters were doing. It had everything to do with my own insecurities. I did, I did think, I'm just going to be Elizabeth Chase, you know, <laughs> when I become an actress kind of thing. And um, I can't believe I became an actress. Well, I thought I was going to go like be on Wall Street. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I wanted. But at the end of the day, I, um, I love acting. And as much as I go through this idea of, do I really want to do this job the rest of my life? Which I probably won't. But um, right now it is really fulfilling. And there are times where I don't find it fulfilling. And I think the parts I don't find fulfilling is the pressure of platforms. My first time looking at Instagram, and I was like, this is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I could cre figure out how this is fun. And then it, you get more people, and then you're like, oh, this is, now I don't have, now I'm not having as much fun. And now I'm second guessing everything. And then it's like, wait, why am I even trying to create a character version of myself and put it out in the world? And the whole thing just made me uncomfortable. And it's not even like I was really uh, paying attention to comments or anything, I just felt weird how it um, organized my brain. Like if something happened in the world, I would say, oh, do I have to post about this? Um, I think it's very dangerous to think, oh, something just happened in the world. I am an entitled person whose voice must be heard on this issue. And I just think that is such a narcissistic viewpoint that we're all like, we're all a part of. Like it made us all like live in this weird narcissistic cycle. Mm -hmm. um, I do think it's important for people who want to be voices and have platforms and who care deeply about issues to do that. Um, I am terrified of um, that kind of pressure. And so um, that's kind of where I was like, oh, right, so I'm just gonna back up and like do my things that, that I think are important for the things that I care about and um, try and be kind and good. And, and learn and listen. <laughs> During the pandemic, I was like, oh, well, you know what? This just is not for me. And I, and I just got rid of it and I, will, I won't go back. No regrets. <laughs> no, I'm never going back to social media. <laughs> Catherine Hahn just was so delicious to work with and she really was like, we are witches. How amazing is that? Like we are these, powerful women who um, men are terrified by. And um, they had to murder us because they were so scared of our power and um, our temptation and um, everything that that is so mysterious about being a woman. To have this ownership of, of witches again is really fun. <laughs> <laughs>